Hi, silly sock. Well, what's the matter? Silly sock, what's wrong? I'm feeling shy. Why? Because I'm just not very creative. What do you mean? Well, I know you want to talk about creation today. Mm-hmm. And how God made everything. Mm-hmm. And you're going to ask me to be creative. Mm-hmm. Go on. Do something creative. But I'm not. When I dance, it looks like this. That's kind of cool. They thought it was cool. Didn't you think it was cool, boys and girls? Well, yeah. And also, when um, I want to sing a song, it sounds like this. Hang on, hang on. We're not supposed to sing right now because of the restrictions on not singing. Oh, okay. Can I hum? Yeah, you can hum. <laughs> well, that was pretty creative. I kind of liked it. Well, boys and girls, God is so amazingly creative. He made some great stuff. What are you doing? Nothing. Well, I was wondering if you could think about your favorite animal right now. Oh, oh, I know my favorite animal. What is it? The cheetah. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, I like the way they go fast. I like to go fast. Zoom. Hey, come back, come back. Zoom. No, no, that's, that's kind of creepy. Stop that. Zoom. No, come back, silly thought. One of my favorite animals, boys and girls, is the kookaburra. What? Yeah. If I could be a bird, I'd want to be a kookaburra, because they laugh all the time. <laughs> Stop that. That's, like, just annoying. Could you, like, really? Really? Yeah, well, anyway, I, I, I think my kookaburra noise is better than yours. You do it. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. See? See? <laughs> okay, silly sock. Um, uh, let me think of another favorite animal. Who likes cats? Oh, I do. Meow. And dogs? <laughs> Ooh, that is this. Ugh. 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 Puppet slobber. Nasty. Well, God's so amazing. In the beginning, He created the heavens and the earth. And um, how about if I read that to you from the Bible? Because I'd like you to hear it straight from the Bible. Don't you dare eat my... Hey, ah, I gotta go. Okay, boys and girls, I'm back. I've got uh, my Bible here. And I, this is God's words written down for us so that we can get to know him. Okay? And... Uh, what he really wants us to know is that he loves us and he sent his son Jesus to die for us so we can be friends with him if we trust him. Um, and you know what else? We're going to go right to the beginning now and think about the very good beginning that God made. Of course, it's not all good now, is it? We can look around the world and we can see things that just aren't quite right and we can see things that we do that just aren't quite right and so we can see maybe things aren't like they were at the very start of the world uh, because of things we do and things other people do and just things aren't quite right now but that's not how it was meant to be it all started way back at the very beginning and it was good. Like that song, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He looked at what he had done. All of it was very good. Let me read it to you from right here in the book of Genesis, chapter 1. I hope you can see that. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then there's this whole section in here, which is what uh, my video is based on. You'll see in a second about how God said 
let there be light, or God said, I command there to be sky and ocean or dry land, or I command the earth to produce all kinds of living plants or animals or even people. And then we go right to the end of the chapter and right here in verse 31 of Genesis chapter one, it says, God looked at what he had done. All of it was very good. God made everything good in the very beginning. I want to read about what makes us special though, okay? So he made the, he made the, the everything, the universe and the world and, and Christians believe the Bible says God is the origin of everything, like origin, fancy word for the beginning of everything. Okay, everything comes from him. And listen to what he says about when he made people. It says, so this is after he made the land and the sea and the sky and the animals and the plants and the moon and the sun. He decided he's gonna make people. Listen to this. God said, now we will make humans and they will be like us. We will let them rule the fish, the birds, and all other living creatures. So God created humans to be like himself. He made men and women. That's so cool. Boys and girls, sometimes people say you're special because of what you look like. Or somebody might be like, oh, you're so special because oh, you've got such great shoes. Let's see my shoes. Oh, look at those. Oh, I'm glad that doesn't make me special. Some people say, oh, you're so special because you make me laugh. But you know what really makes us special, boys and girls? Those things are great. But what really makes us special is right here in the Bible. God made you and God made me to be a bit like him. How are we like God? God makes stuff, we can make stuff. God speaks and we can speak. Here's how God speaks to us today. We have his words in the Bible. Um, listen, just listen to that again, it's so good. God said, now we will make humans and they will be like us. That's what makes you special. God made you to be a bit like him. And what's even better is God made us to love him. God made us to be his friends. Not because he was lonely, like God wasn't like, oh man, I'm just so, I'm so lonely out here in the universe, I, I need something to do, I know. I'll make people, and then, then they can pray to me. No, it's not like that. God decided to make people to show how much he loves us and how wonderful he is. And we really see how wonderful and loving God is when we think about Jesus, don't we? Well, I'm gonna pray and thank God for the world that he made and the animals and for making us to be his friends. Let's talk to God. You can pray too if you want to. You can even say the words in your head or out loud after me. Just quietly, ready? You can close your eyes or you can leave them open. I'm gonna shut my eyes. Dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you made us and you made everything. And thank you that we can be your friends if we trust in Jesus. Please help us learn so much about you and the beautiful world you've made this year and how much you care about us. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, and you know what else? I forgot to thank God for the, for the world he made. Maybe if you look out your window right now, you might see some things that God made. Let's go and have a look. I'll just take you with me outside. Here goes. Doo -doo. Let's go and have a look. Oh, it's so windy out here. I hope you can still hear me. Look at all those trees and all the grass and the sky. And I can hear some birds. 
I can see a pond over here. Let's go check out this pond. Maybe, maybe there's some tadpoles in there. Hmm. Oh, there's one over there. Let's go have a look. There it goes. There it goes. It just ran into the shadow. Oh, there goes another one. Can you see it? Wow, isn't God amazing? Let's thank him for making all this cool stuff. Dear God, thank you for making the tadpoles and the water and the reeds and the trees, the grass and oh, all my weeds. <laughs> thank you most of all, God, that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye.